Hello, my name is Juan, and in this story, I will talk about five different stories in the Bible and how they connect to salvation history. Salvation history is events in human history in which God reveals his present and saving actions. The covenant is an agreement between God and human beings. In the five Bible stories, God made a covenant with man. God reaches out to man to help save us. God reaches out to man by approaching him spiritually. The first story I will be talking about is Noah and the Ark. God wants to destroy the world and tells Noah to build an ark to save his family. He also told him that he wanted him to take all living creatures and he should bring two of every kind into the ark, one male and one female. The theme that I found for Noah and the ark is fulfilling God's plan. I think this because because God called Noah to help him fulfill his plan. God wanted to destroy earth and chose Noah to help him because he was righteous. This connects to salvation history because it is telling us that God wanted a relationship with us. He wanted to destroy the world and give a fresh new start with us. My evidence is on Genesis chapter 6 verse 14 through 20. The destruction of the earth took one year and ten days. The second story I will be talking about is Abraham's visitors. Abraham receives a visit from three men. They told him that around this time next year, they will be back and Sarah will have a son. Sarah didn't believe this, but Abraham did because this is what God promised. The theme that I found for the story Abraham's visitors is promise. God promised Abraham that if he helps him take his people to the promised land, that Sarah will have a kid. He did this because he made a covenant with Abraham promising descendants. This connects to salvation history because this is part of the covenant God made with Abraham. My evidence is on Genesis chapter 18 verse 9 through 15. The third story is the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. The cities were destroyed by God because there was too much sin in that city. Abraham told God to save Lot and his family because they didn't do anything bad. God saved his family, but Lot's wife disobeyed God and turned into a pile of salt. The theme that I found in for destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah is power of God. I think this because God was able to save Lot and his family who were innocent. This connects to salvation history because it tells us that God wants to build a relationship with us. He saw violence in the city. It felt that it needed to be destroyed. He was able to save Lot and his family, which shows that if you will, that if we have faith in God, everything will go well. If you do evil, you will be punished. The third, the fourth story, is the burning bush. In the burning bush, Moses was walking when he noticed. A very bright light when he approached it, he saw a bush on fire, but it wasn't burning. Then it started to speak to him. It said that he is God, the God of the Israelites, and he told Moses to help him save his people. The thing that I found for the burning bush is being called. I think this because God called Moses and told him to save his people. This connects to salvation history because it is telling us that God wants to build a relationship with us. He connects with Moses to fulfilled the covenant with Moses that would deliver the Israelites to the promised land. The next story is the parting of the Red Sea. In the parting of the Red Sea, the Israelites had nowhere to go and were mad at God. God because they thought that he set this up. God then rose the water so they can go by. Once they made it safely to the other side, God dropped the water, killing the Egyptians. The Pharaoh was mad. That Moses and the Israelites escaped. They were now on their way to the promised land. The theme that I found for the party of the Red Sea is power of God. I think this because the Israelites were pretty much surrounded and had nowhere to go, and then God helped them escape, and even when they didn't believe in Him, He was there to help. This connects to salvation history because it tells us about the covenant between God and Moses that He will bring God's people to the promised land. My evidence, is, my evidence is on Exodus chapter 14, verse 10 through 18.
Um, this video was about God reaching out to man because he wants to build a relationship with us. In each of the five stories told, God made a covenant with man. In each of the five stories, we can relate it to salvation history. Thank you for watching.